Okay, hello everyone in a new video on this one we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapters of DC voltage and resistors. This exercise was a previous one in the previous exams, 2021 first session, exercise number 3. The title of this exercise is electric circuit. During a laboratory session, a circuit is constructed as shown in document 2. Then they mentioned document 2, now we can use it. Generator, G is a generator that maintains across its terminals a constant voltage U. Then this is a DC source, as been indicated from its symbol. R1 is a resistor of resistance R1 is equal to 20 ohms. Then let me write here that R1 is equal to 20 ohms. And R2 is a resistor of resistance R2 is equal to 40 ohms. In which A is an ammeter of negligible resistance. We designate by I the current sent by G. I1 the current traversing R1 and I2, the current traversing R2, as being indicated in document 2. The ammeter indicates 100 milliamps, so the ammeter is reading the current I. Then the trick in solving such type of exercises is to label the current and the voltages on the circuit itself. So 100 milliamps, then let me write this is 100 milliamps, knowing that milliamps is not as a unit of current. Now number 1, they are telling us that the currents I, I2 and, so I, I1 and I2 are equal. Justification is required. So this justification is more like stating a law and not by calculation. So notice that A, R1 and R2 are connected in series because each say uh, share one terminal. So let's, let, let me write as a title, let's write as a title that A, R1 and R2 are in series. So we always start by mentioning the grouping. And this usually give it half a mark. And let's now mention the law according to law of uniqueness of currents. And by the word uniqueness, it means equal. And we are equating currents, uniqueness of currents. They have the same current. For this reason, I is equal to I1 is equal to I2 is equal to 100 milliamps. So we can say that in this case, I1 is equal to 100 milliamps and I2 is equal to 100 milliamps. Then let me write here that the value of I is equal to 100 milliamps. In order to convert from milliamps to amps, we divide by 1000. So this is equal to 0 0.1 amperes. Now in number 2, they are telling us to calculate RE, the resistance of the resistor equivalent to R1 and R2. Notice that they are in series. So this is statement, they usually give it half a mark. Now we need to calculate R equivalent. Whenever they are in series, the resistance is additive, then R1 plus R2. The value of R1 is given by 20, and the value of R2 is given by 40. Now plugging this on the calculator, the value of R equivalent is given by 60, since both this is in ohms and this is in ohms, so the value of RE is in ohms then R equivalent is equal to 60 ohms. And whenever we calculate R equivalent, it's a good habit to represent the circuit, uh, to represent again RE in the circuit. So this is the generator. This is the ammeter. This is R equivalent, replacing R1 and R2. This is the current I. This is G. And here we have 100 milliamps. I1 and I2 disappears, we have a single current given by I. Now in number 3, they are telling us calculate by applying Ohm's law the values of the voltages U1 and U2 across the terminals of R1 and R2 respectively. So they mentioned the law and they are asking us to calculate a certain quantity which is the voltage. Let's start by applying Ohm's law to R1, then let me say apply Ohm's law 
to R1, then this statement usually give it half a mark. Ohm's law is given by u is equal to Ri. In this case, no need to construct a triangle because this is the quantity that we are interested in, which is being labeled by u1. So this is 1, R1, traversed by the current R1. The value of R1 is given by 20. The value of I1 is given, which is equal to I, which is given by 0 0.1, and that's I. Plugging this on the calculator, so this is equal to 2. Since both R1 and I1 are expressed in the SI, so the value of U1 will be in the SI, which is volts. Then U1 in this case is given by 2 volts. And the trick in solving such type of exercises is to, to write applied voltage traverse current on the circuit itself. Now we need to apply Ohm's law to R2. Then Ohm's law is given by u is equal to ri, repeating the same notes. Now the value of r2 is given by 40. The value of i2 is also given by i, which is 0 0.1. Plugging this on the calculator, this is equal to 4 volts. So notice that both of them are being traversed by the same current, which is i 0 0.1 amperes. Since the value of r2 is greater than r1, so this resistor required more tension, required more voltage for, for it to be being traversed by the same current of R1. So let me write that this is U2 is equal to 4 volts. Now in number 4 they are telling us the voltage across the terminals of A is 0. Why? What does A represent? A is the ammeter. And we know that the voltage across the ammeter is zero since it is of negligible resistance. So because it is of negligible resistance. So here, they didn't give any labels for the terminals of the circuit. So let me say that this is UA is equal to zero. And now here, notice the pattern across the exercise. They are asking me voltage across different branches. Then we expect now that they ask us about the law of addition of voltages. And indeed, they are asking us to determine the value of U. What does U represent? U represents the voltage across the generator, and this can be determined by applying the law of additional voltages because this is 2 and this is 4, so expect that this is 6 because this is 0. So apply law of additional voltages. Then this statement, usually they give it half a mark. So how do you apply this law? Always on the left we write the voltage of the battery, which is given by U, or the voltage of the generator. Now, on the other side we write voltages across different components, but the thing here is that we don't have the terminals given by P, A, B, C. So we will not use the terminals, but rather the names of the components. So U of the generator is equal to U A plus U1 plus U2. And we are interested in determining this value. So this is 0 plus 2 plus 4. Plugging this on the calculator, so this is equal to 6. Everything is expressed in that size, so this will be in volts. Then the voltage across the generator is given by 6 volts. And that's it for me in this video, guys. See you soon in a new one.